Yes, it is a hot topic today. Let us talk about it. You wonder why our mothers always kept a bottle of onion pickle or lime pickle called Lunaday on the dining table and we used to nickname them as rice pullers. What are lactofermented foods? also called lactic acid fermentation foods. Lacto does not refer here to milk, but refers to lactic acid produced by lactobacillus bacteria. These bacilli are present in yogurt, cheese, and the skin of most veggies and fruits, among others. It is starches and sugars in your veggies and fruits that is converted into lactic acid by friendly bacteria, lactobacilli, during fermentation. Fermentation was used in the ancient times to preserve food and making alcohol, cheese, salami and more. Microorganisms that live in our guts are more important than many of us think. They need to be focused and cared for daily for better health and well-being by understanding more about the fermented foods, sometimes called probiotics. This discussion is all about such food and awareness of their presence in our gut, playing a great role in our health and newly understanding their diversity to manage antibiotic resistance threatening all humankind. <music> Fermentation of any food promotes the growth of beneficial bacteria known as probiotics. They support the microbes in your gut to boost the immune system and these bugs support approximately 60 to 80 percent of, of our immune system. In short, if not for our gut microbes, we wouldn't be living today. There are many other beneficial functions for our gut friends and shall discuss as we go on. They assist in digestion of food, heart health, and communicate with the brain to keep our body and soul in harmony. The communication between the gut and the brain is through wires, namely the vagus nerve. The gut is referred to as our second brain. Lactoacid fermentation or lacto-fermentation. It is a natural process through which microorganisms like yeast and bacteria convert sugars into alcohol and lactic acid when preserved in a tightly closed container. This process of fermentation occurs in an anaerobic environment and hence in the preparation of these foods like sauerkraut and kimchi from cabbage gratings you need to pack them tight in the jar and keep the lid tightly closed for fermentation and lactic acid formation the beneficial bacteria that are spontaneously grown in the preserved fermented food are called probiotics sauerkraut and kimchi are fermented foods rich in beneficial probiotics that provide a wide range of health benefits. Yogurt is a well-known food source of probiotics 
having beneficial bacteria that promote health. Certain strains of bacteria in yogurt have BD galactosidase, an enzyme that helps break down uh, lactose in dairy products into the sugar, glucose, and galactose. Lack of this enzyme causes lactose malabsorption. Probiotics are live microorganisms which when administered in adequate amounts confer a health benefit on the host. In other words, these friendly bacteria work hard to improve your health. They have strength in numbers. You need to consume a large enough dose of probiotics in order to see their benefits. Regular consumption of probiotics might help mitigate the rise of antibiotics resistance. A recent review of multiple studies showed that infants and children who consumed probiotics to reduce the appearance and duration of acute respiratory and digestive tract infections have a lower risk of being prescribed antibiotics. You will observe that lactobacilli and bifidobacteria are two gut microbes that are involved in the process of fermented foods we call probiotics. Probiotics can impart our gut microbiota indirectly as well, for example by influencing our immune system which in turn influences our gut microbiota. Let's talk about prebiotics. Prebiotics generally help to grow the probiotic bacteria in our gut to improve better health. Prebiotics are like fertilizers to make gut bacteria grow and be healthy, like adding fuel to your vehicle. Prebiotics are mainly found in our dietary fiber, including all fruits and veggies, oats, and so on. Prebiotics have been shown to increase levels of beneficial bacteria, playing a role in the promotion of our health. Hope you enjoyed this 9 minute video. The bottom line is, please consume foods with plenty of fiber which feeds the beneficial gut bacteria and make it a habit to eat some form of lacto-fermented probiotics for general well-being, health, including prevention of cancer. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.